back on the fair lane again and there's actually not a whole lot of stuff that needs to be done to get this car back on the road i did a full roadworthy work up on it uh, about four and a half years ago but it's only traveled about 4000 k's since then so it really doesn't need much it may need tires well it will need tires um, but it needs just a couple of you know little things like the um the wing mirror here they got damaged uh in a car park i've just got to put in your glass in that i'll just whip that out they're easy to get out so there's a little catch so we just get in there give that a little bit of a lever <laughs> once again i need two hands just really carefully just get in there and Ease it out. There we go. I just, I've ordered up a new glass. That'll be ready to slip straight back in. Pretty easy job, really. So I'll go through it. I'll check all the lights, make sure all the headlights, high boom, low boom, and indicators and everything are, are working. It's been sitting for a couple of years, so I can check that stuff and make sure it works ready to go. I'll just hook up the battery again, and um, yeah, let's have a look. I can't check the indicators without ignition power. <laughs> Uh, which will be with us soon because those key blanks and the uh, barrel I pulled out in the last video are at the locksmiths as we speak. Hopefully in a day or so I'll have them back ready to program and we can fire this thing up. So I should be able to see the uh, brake and tail lights without the ignition so I'll check them make sure that's all working. The brake lights didn't come on but I think on this car the brake lights need to have the ignition on so that they will actually operate uh, i can't really remember but that's what i'm thinking and the parkers all seem to come on as you saw something that may interest you is this light here which i'm using because you know everyone needs a decent stage light this is actually running off my solar system that i set up ages and ages and ages ago so that's where it's plugged in that's the inverter Currently drawing a few amps. So everything seems to be working quite well. Once the 80 series is, is all sorted out and the solar system ends up getting put in the car, this inverter will not be getting used. It might be carried just for emergency sake, but it just doesn't have what I'll need to run, bat, uh, run fridges and, and, and all that sort of stuff. One of the low beam globes is gone. It's a bit of a pain in the bum because you've got to pull all the air box out. Well, got to do what you got to do. So let's just get the top off of this. There's one. And you still can't quite get to it, so the air box has got to come out. Painful. Don't. There we go. The air filter, which has done bugger all K's, pretty nice and clean. Out. All this just to change the headlight globe. One more down there. Is that extension long enough to get into that? Yes, it is. There we go. Let's go there. Bit of crap in there. Bit of dead lizard, butterfly. I don't have to change this on the fly. There's a crook globe. I think that's the crook globe. Let's just give it a quick test. Yep, so low beam on that, that globe's gone out. Pretty sure I've got another one of those kicking around somewhere. That really does help when I uh, actually turn the cameras on. So that's my old globe. That's pretty well shot. That's the new one. And this is a um this is a stock globe that's 6055 this one the replacement is a 13090 so yeah it's pretty bright find the right mounting position for it i think that's it yep that's in keep all the water out Definitely need that here in North Queensland, especially at this time of year. And plug back on. Let's test that light. Okay, 
that's just about all done so let's have a look it's all back together everything's in uh did i tighten that up yes i did not much more i can do on this now until um i get the keys back so hopefully that'll be hopefully tomorrow maybe the next day oh it's the next day and i'm pretty chuffed just got a call from the locksmith keys are ready <laughs> i'm back oh, i've got them yay keys are cut to them. That one works. That one works. All right. Let's see if it works in the ignition. Okay. That switch works. Okay. It's definitely not going to start because it hasn't been programmed yet. So, yes, yes. yes, I know there's an error, but looking up sweet it all works progress oh it's all the door cards back in that all works well, let's see how well this fits <laughs> so easy. There we go. Done. All right, so um, at the uh, time of filming this, I haven't been able to get my hands on a scan tool that uh, can program a BCM. So uh, haven't got it running yet, but it'll happen. I'll just got to find one that'll do the job and uh, Fiona will be back on the road. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch us next time. See ya.